23-year-old Manish Kumar is getting married to 20-year-old Babita Rani in the state of Haryana, India. A lavish wedding with a unique prerequisite, says Babita. When my mother and my father decided about the marriage, they had asked first whether there was a toilet at the groom's house. To seal the deal, Manish's parents had to install a toilet in the couple's home. It's a matter of pride and dignity and an unlikely status symbol. Nearly half of India's 1.2 billion people have no access to toilets. In fact, there are more people with cell phones here than with toilets. And one in every 10 deaths is caused by the lack of proper sanitation. So the government of India introduced the No Toilet, No Bride initiative. Supported by the World Bank, the sanitation campaign involves unusual consequences, such as shaming the villagers. Namaskar. Namaskar. Good morning. What is this? Of course, there is no response. Praveen Kumar, a trained sanitation official, gets down to business. Is this human, cat or dog? And now I say this to the women. Nowadays, cell phones have cameras and people take pictures by hiding in the bushes. Getting the message across to the younger generation is critical. School curricula now include hygiene classes. If anybody goes out in the open to do their business, if anybody spreads any type of waste and dumps it, that person will be fined 1,000 rupees. That's 20 US dollars, which is four times the cost of a porcelain model toilet. But still, India has a long way to go before it reaches full compliance. According to the 2011 census, some 53% of all households still have no toilets or latrines.